Please welcome Joseph Gordon-Levitt. Good. Great to be here. For the last time. <laughs> Joseph Gordon Levitt, can I call you Jordan Gavin Lewitt? Yes, please. Okay, please. Okay. Yes, Jose, we were... Gorbon, Levy, whatever you want. You had two different kind of socks on last time I saw you. Wow, you were very observant. And you do again. I just yeah, wanted to I kept check. it a little more subtle this time. Mm -hmm. But they do not match. Do you, do you do that for some personal reason that you'd like to share with us? I, I actually do. That's, that's no one's ever asked me that on TV before. Um, <laughs> yeah, um, my brother did this, uh, and it was sort of my brother when he grew up was this really sort of conservative, shy guy, and over the course of his life, uh, unfortunately, he, he he died like six years ago, but. Uh, over the course of his life, he became extremely extroverted. He decided he didn't want to be shy anymore. Mm -hmm. And one of the first steps to not being shy anymore was he started wearing bright colored mismatched socks. And it was sort of like him dipping his toe because no one could see his socks. Mm -hmm. So it was like he didn't have to suffer the consequences of being extroverted at first. But so he's literally <laughs> dipping his toe into <laughs> yes. the waters. And yeah, and so I, I sort of, uh, I, I used to just wear black socks, but then I inherited his sock collection, and uh, now I always wear. Well, that's a beautiful socks. story. That's yeah, beautiful I didn't story. mean to like get all. <laughs> no, not at all. <laughs> okay, so um, did you meet Snowden? I did, yeah. When, where, where did you meet him, and how long did you get, get to spend time yeah, with him? Yeah, so Oliver Stone, the filmmaker, and, and his co-writer, Kieran Fitzgerald, they took a number of trips to Moscow, where mm -hmm. uh, he lives. Mm -hmm. um, does, where... he, do you, does he live, like, in a nice place? Is he under, like... I don't know. The Russians have him under guard? Like, do you know anything? I just met him at an office. I didn't go to where he lives. Mm -hmm. uh, so, yeah, Oliver brought me on one of the trips, because uh, Snowden was giving lots of feedback to the script and stuff, but uh, Oliver wanted me to meet him. Um, and uh, I just spent about four hours talking with him, him and his longtime girlfriend, Lindsay Mills, uh, who's mm -hmm. played in the movie by Shailene Woodley. Uh, and um, it's funny because he's always trying to take the attention off of himself and put the attention on the issues that right. he wants to talk well, about. Well, today he tried to put the attention on himself because he asked President Obama for mm -hmm. a pardon. That's true. Yeah. Uh, but I don't think he was talking about like what he likes to eat for lunch or how he likes to talk or walk, and those are the things that I wanted to pay attention to. Oh, as an I'm actor, you wanted yeah. to be able to, yeah, you, oh, I see. Yeah, like it's his personal things, you know what I mean? Like, Did I didn't get mean to dodge the him? pardon question, by the way. No, not <laughs> at all. No, we'll get back to it. Okay. Now, um, so, did you get anything from him? Oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, you can tell a lot about a person by just, like, how they shake your hand. You know what I mean? And... <laughs> Whoa, that was limp, dude. That was... <laughs> what... <laughs> That's the best thing. Yeah. <laughs> no, he's actually... He was really... He's sort of old-fashioned in his good manners, is what I found. Oh, really? Yeah, I didn't necessarily expect it, because, you know, for better or for worse, there's a stereotype that I might have been guilty of, of sort of falling into this prejudice that guys that are good at computers are socially awkward. Mm -hmm. and, and so I was half expecting him to kind of like, you know, give, give this kind of handshake, mm -hmm. you know? Oh, no eye contact. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. he really didn't at all. He was actually sort of um, gentlemanly, to be honest. Oh, okay. And I wanted to, I don't know, I wanted to put that into the performance. No, um, uh, does, he, does he want to come back? Did oh, you talk yeah. to him about that? Definitely, yeah, he would love Why to Why doesn't he come back? Do you think he should come back and stand trial? Well, I mean, look, I'm, I'm not a lawyer as far as, you know, how he should or shouldn't be punished. But you're, I, an, Amer I'm, you're an American. I am an American. I, no, you're an American. You're an American. <laughs> That's true. I don't yeah. say it that way, but I... But, mm -hmm. <laughs> but deep down, we're all, we're all Americans. I can't, I can't say I'm an American. Mm -hmm. Sure you can, but okay. you're also an American. Okay. <laughs> That's the base code. Happy for that. I'm happy yeah. for that. Mm -hmm. I mean, look, here's the thing. I, I think ultimately what he did... Uh, is, 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 of course, complicated. And I understand why people uh, consider him a criminal, because he broke the law. He yeah, did. Sure. When, when he took classified documents yeah. and gave them to journalists, yep. that was breaking the law. But the NSA was also breaking the law a million times every day mm -hmm. and lying to the American people about it. And we didn't know anything about that until Edward Snowden provided the evidence. Two wrongs don't and make a right. <laughs> <laughs> Just being the devil's advocate. You're, you're, being I mean, the devil's right. advocate. But here's the thing, like, well, the, law that, yeah. the law that they were breaking is in our Bill of Rights. That's our Constitution is what makes America so great. If you want to talk about being an American, 
This is what makes our country so great is that we have these rights. That's a privilege. Like, a lot of people live in places all over the world where they don't have those rights. And right. when, when a government agency like the NSA is, is breaking that law and then lying about it, mm -hmm. that's, that, to me, that's scary. That's like our democracy slipping away. And I'm, I'm happy to kind of stand up and say, I'm not cool with this. Like, it's not OK. Well, I go. well, I'm not censoring your freedom of speech, but we've got to take a commercial okay. break. We'll be right back with more Joseph Gordon-Levitt. Stick around.